Uh, even in inflation adjusted numbers, if you go back to the mid 80s, on average, we had a billion dollar natural disaster every 82 days. Think of that as uh, 11 and a half weeks, right? Yeah. That number now is 18 days. We Last year, we had $21 billion disasters. This year, we're at nine. Um, and you can think, well, those are all those that passed that threshold of a billion dollars. But then you start looking at something like Hurricane Ida just last year, almost a year ago now, where the estimated uh, damages were between 30 and $40 billion from yeah. just that one storm. Yeah. Those, those are not anomalous numbers. Those are uh, points on a curve that shows that that's just continuing to go up. Now, some of that is uh, a consequence of development. We're seeing a lot more development along the coasts, for example, but most of it is associated with uh, natural activity. And you just have to look at the, new, the news headlines from the last couple of months. I mean, look, look at the wildfires going on out west. Look yeah. at the floods we just had in Kentucky. Look at the drought we are forecasting uh, for our seasonal outlook that the drought is going to get even worse in most yeah. of the west and it's going to extend farther east over the course of this year. A lot of people looked at our hurricane outlook this year when we put it out in May and said, yeah, well, it's not that bad. Yeah, but most of the hurricane activity tends to happen in August, September, October. I don't need to right. tell your audience that. You're well aware of that. And here we are uh, in August. We've been relatively fortunate, but our outlooks are suggesting it's going to be pretty active season regardless. So yeah, yeah, by any indication, we're starting to see, we're not starting, we're seeing the trends yeah. for increased activity and consequences. Well, My name is Rick Spinrad, and I am the Undersecretary of Commerce for Oceans and Atmosphere, and also the Administrator of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, and this is the future of insurance.